today i am going to talk about the icons and how you can manage your icons on your operating system now as a designer uh, i have like thousands of different icons and i have purchased a lot of premium icon sets with thousands of svg files and a lot of other other formats okay now when we design uh, in any app like adobe xd or sketch uh, or uh, photoshop I normally try to use PNG format or SVG format because SVG is scalable and I can scale it to any size. Now the problem is whenever I try to find any icon, for example, I want to find the uh, icon folder, and uh, I I have to browse like my hundreds of folders to get to that specific icon or maybe star icon or something like that. Now I am going to show you. Uh, two softwares uh, which are great on managing and tagging those icons okay so one of them is nucleo which is for windows and uh, mac both operating system and one is icon jar which is very which is very popular uh, among designers on mac operating system okay so let's uh, go switch to my desktop uh, screen and uh, i'm going to show you both of them uh, I have uh, already installed Nucleo and I have installed the Icon Jar on my Mac. Right now, I am not in a mood to open my Mac right now or run it. So I will show you just my Windows and uh, you can check the Icon Jar. Pricing is different. I'm going to show you. Okay. So let's see these softwares. Okay. Now, as you can see right now, I am this uh, using this Nucleo app and uh, it does almost the same thing you can see here are different styles glyph outline colored and uh, you can color them you can choose the colors these and uh, a lot of other things you can tag them uh, you can uh, do uh, corner radius and a lot of other things okay now the pricing of this is a uh, nucleo price is for uh, 99 dollars for individuals one user and there are free icons plus lifetime updates so you have to purchase one time payment you can see over here it is a very good uh, opportunity i think uh, and there are svg source files icons and unlimited projects you can use it as many times as you want and uh, then if i go to this icon jar you can see here it also has the same interface and uh, you can see over here there are different sets of icons i think uh, icon jar doesn't have any free icons with it maybe one or two but uh, it doesn't have 23000 free icons with it with it and its price is uh, if i click on buy now you can see it is 29.99 dollars so it is just 30 dollars and uh, this is for 99 dollars and with a lot of bundled icons so uh, let me show you how this uh, uh, this nucleo icon really looks like now you can see I am using it right now and on the left side there are my icon sets Nucleo, Google Material Design and if I uh, go to the top there are different styles, IL styles, glyphs, outline, colored. Okay so if I go to all styles you can see these are my icons and if I click on any icon like this folder one you can see I can place some tags over here like this is my tag folder and uh, I can also change the color if I want to. You can see if I want to change the color of my icons, I can change them. Uh, I can also add another color. If they support two colors, they are going to have them. Otherwise, they are not. Okay, so I'm going to remove this. Right now, I can also add a background color. You can see over here how they are looking, how they will look on this color. Also, the frame, if I want something around them like this frame color I am going to remove this border background to white and this frame to a bit gray color something like that okay now you can see I can do a lot of things I can tag it and uh, let's see I put a comma and I think it it tagged it okay also I can use the rounded corner and I am going to use the stroke to 5 see what happens okay so nothing is happening Okay, now if I go to this 12 pixel or 24 pixel grid, you can see it is showing me uh, how many icons are supported for 24 pixel grid. Similarly, uh, the same is with the 
uh, the other software I mentioned icon jar I think the, almost the functionality is the same I can find uh, different uh, icons over here you can see that is why it was showing me the folder one okay so I can search all the folders you can see over here I'm going to switch to another size like 48 pixels now you can see these are all the folders let's uh, search for star okay so you can see now I have one half star one this rounded star in Google material design so if I try to search in my all icons you can see I have five icons so this is very very swift I think and now from here if I want to export it for example this one I can click on this I can also add to a project okay so if I am uh, I have a project I can add different icons to the project and then I can I can export at the end the whole project the whole 10 or 12 12 or 20 icons I need okay one more thing let's let me show you let's remove this star search over here and uh, I am going to change thus I am going to add a second color let's add a color which is going to be a bit greenish okay, let's add this color we can also add over one color over here now you can see if you look at this let me add this color like that and now I'm going to shift to 64 pixels now you can see there are two colors in some of the icons so this is really cool this is a bit too dark too sharp so let's use a color like this something over here now you can see they are looking really cool so if I have a project and I'm working on a project which have this blue and green colors I can easily shift to these colors and I can easily use these colors okay so uh, this is really cool I really love it how it, it is changing all these icons I can select different icons and I can press control and command and I can select multiple icons like these and I can click on export and it can export in SVG format PNG PDF icon font JSON uh, and a lot of things SVG sprite uh, for Android, for uh, uh, PNG resolution, this is for different uh, resolutions like I want a 1x, 2x, 3x. So uh, there are a lot of options to export. Okay. So this is a great way to, you know, um, export your icons and manage your icons. You can also add them to favorites. If, for example, if I use 10 or 12 icons everywhere again and again I can add to favorites these are all the tags related to this icon you can see I UI user interface watch search view visibility okay and uh, these are all the things and I really love that uh, we should have some solutions something like this but right now I'm not using any of these solutions uh, one more thing we can also import our own sets like you can see these are the icons I have purchased Futuro icons and you can see these are in two different sizes 256 pixels and to 512 pixels and uh, you can see these are all the icons I have although I cannot change colors from here because they are multi colors like three or four colors and um, but still I think it is a great way to manage your icons you can tag them over here okay so uh, that is all about managing your icons one app is this Nucleo the another one is icon jar I hope you have enjoyed this video uh, if you have any questions or comments you can uh, comment uh, in the comment section uh, also if you want to ask me or you want any other video from me a new video any idea you have you can give it to me and uh, I will try to make another video on that okay so uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel you can subscribe I am going to talk all about design user interface and user experience design new things coming into it and how we can become a better user experience or UI designers see you soon I hope you have enjoyed this video see you soon in another video